Hello everybody. Today I'm out here to show you the bird nest in the wall. I mean, we can't actually see the nest, but there's something hanging out of there. And from the kitchen window by the table, we keep seeing the silhouette of a bird going back and forth and keep hearing it. We finally figured out there's a bird's nest in the wall right up there, right there. So we'll leave the baby birds alone and when they fly away, Don has to fix the wall. So there aren't any more baby birds in there. And otherwise it just snowed for like two days in a row, which um, May 8th and May 9th, which is ridiculous. Yeah, this is Michigan, but the snow should be done by now. And it's still cold. It's cold out here right now. But at least the sun is out and there's no more snow. Hopefully there won't be any more snow. And Don uncovered the peach tree. But I don't know how, it, uh, how it's going to do this here. We had two of these and the other one died. This one looks like maybe it's going to die too. I don't see any buds. But they are too hard. It's too hard to grow peaches here. It's too cold. So we won't try this again. And as I was filming the tree, I heard the bird go in there. I don't know if she'll come out or not. Probably not, probably because I'm here. But I heard her go in there to feed her babies. Hi, Tog. So today, the first part of our Chewy delivery was made. And it's the same FedEx guy that usually comes and he really likes Tog. And he always has a biscuit for him. So that's good. Sometimes the FedEx drivers, the UPS drivers, and the mail people don't like dogs. So we're lucky we have a guy who comes and treats Tug right because Tug is not a mean dog. He's just an old border collie who doesn't bite. Right, Tug? You gonna smile? Smile! Aw, oh, just a little bitty smile? Alright. So here's Don putting the Nature's Miracle that we ordered into the spray bottle. Because, as some of you know, thanks to the current situation, the neuter appointments for White Storm and Kylo were cancelled by the vet. So, we don't think White Storm has started spraying yet. But we know Kylo does. So we ordered a whole gallon of Nature's Miracle to take care of it. Hopefully soon things will open back up and the vets, the vet in Sheboygan will say we can finally bring them up and have it done before you start spraying, right? Too late for you, you already are. Hopefully once you're, you get your operation, you quit, but I'm not sure but we had the spray bottle from before, so I just ordered another bunch of it to uh, refill the spray bottle. Yeah, I was out trying to open the big gallon jug of it, and they all come running out here meowing, thinking they were getting a treat. <laughs> yeah, now it's more like a treat for us, you guys, so we don't have to smell your pee. You two, it's your fault. Well, no, maybe not you yet, but soon, because you're going to be a year old next month. Soon. So, hopefully the vet will let us bring them up and get it done as soon as Michigan opens back up. Because I still have the money saved and waiting. So we decided to go for a ride. We just got gas and we're going to go through Pigeon River Country, which is where the elk are supposed to be. And I haven't been through there since I was like 11 years old or something like that. So, it's a great big long ride, but it's pretty scenic. Our first stop is here at this spring. I know it looks like a puddle, but it's not. It's an actual spring with really good, clean, cold water. Yeah, it might not look clean right here, but you can actually drink this water. It yeah. trickles out right here along this side.
Yep. And I drink lots of water out of there. Yeah, we stopped here a couple years ago, two, three years ago. There's a video on on our channel of it and drank some water from it. It's really, really cold even in the summer. Yeah, and it flows year round. Yeah. It never freezes. And this is Black River Road, way back, way back yeah, in uh, here. We're still at the beginning of our ride trying to get out to, where we're, to our destination. Yeah. So. It's going to be a, a long time, a long yeah, ride. It's going to be a while before we get to where we're going. Yeah. But be ready for a nice little walk after we get where we're going. Well, good. And then we'll look for those little, uh, these little uh, ponds that I know. Yeah. The water is really blue. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, that'll be cool. Probably at least take you to one of them because one of them is easy to get to. The other one you got to do some hiking to get to. Well, so we'll go to go to one that's easy to get to and probably go on the top of the hill. All right. Because once you go down the hill, trying to get back up to up it is another story. Oh. <laughs> We have arrived somewhere. I do recognize this place from when I was a kid. The road's over there. There's a stop sign back that way. But I don't think we ever actually came up in here. Don says there's a place to walk up there. Inspiration Point Trailhead. I'm sure I've never been up here because Dad just drove through. We didn't stop and walk anywhere. Oh yeah? Yeah. You over here talking to Matt? No. What does that say? Flooding dam reservation? Renovation? <laughs> I can't read. Cornwell flooding dam. Huh. Well, time to head up there. And here's some abandoned stuff that Don was talking about doesn't look too abandoned it says it has a sign it says observation well and a great big padlock so don't can't get in there Government property yeah but there are foundations and things I and mean, I want to say there's another foundation Somewhere over in this general direction, too. It's been a long time since I've been out here. It's been right around 04, 2004, 2006 since the last time I was out here. Yeah. Yeah, we don't want to trip on this kind of stuff. Yeah. That's much there, too. Oh, so we're standing on the foundation, too. Yeah. Looks like the edge of it's right here. Yeah. And a whole bunch more this way so whatever it used to be before it was a lot bigger Don's looking for more yeah, I don't think there was no foundation somewhere here the thing changed since the last time I was out here because of the over overgrowth yeah even some logging has been done So Don found steps. Like a step snow. Yeah, right there. And some more cement. And then there could have been another step right here. And I think the other foundation is right over here. Okay. I think I see the corner of it. So here's some cement. And we're getting closer to that other thing. Don't know what all this stuff used to be. Yeah, I have no idea. <coughs> but it's kind of cool. 
I'm going to say from that sign that you put on that one thing, I'm going to say something that the government probably did a long time ago. Yeah. That foundation, other foundation I was talking about. Yeah, this is a pretty big one here. What's this thing? Oh, you found 20 cents? Yeah. Well, it means people come out here and party. Might have picked them up since we're right here. Oh, this is attached. This is a gas tank? Looking like it. <laughs> That's a stupid place to put it. Look. Another human being. You don't normally see that out here. No. We're definitely out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. I think this whole thing is might be foundation though. It it's all be. buried in dirt and grass. So you can see it keeps going this way. Yeah, but I want to say I recall this foundation being bigger than what it used to be like when I was out here. Some of it's buried. And I think just Mother Nature is just taking it over. Yeah. I mean, here is a square, but I think there's more to it yeah, so I that way. Yeah, I bigger, and I think nature is just taking it over. Yep. And here is the driveway to come in here. And down, just right down there, is a stop sign that I remember from when we used to come through here. We'd stop at the stop sign and turn left, and then keep going forever and ever, and end up in Gaylord. And here is some more foundation. We're looping around back to the car so we can drop off those cans before we go back to the trail and find that actual outlook we were originally heading to. Well, we're finally up here and it is definitely a good view. Like there's a lake right, right there. And my Fitbit said I went up three floors Yeah. I believe it. Yeah. Getting back in here is pretty hilly. But at least there's a bench up here. Right? Yeah. That white pine tree down over here used to never be that big. You used to be able to see the whole food plot down here. Yeah. So that's where we came from. Somebody had a fire at one point. And you can see all the way over there. What lake is that? I'm not sure. You said we're not too far from Vanderbilt? Yeah. Huh. Looks pretty cool. But I definitely can't say I didn't get any walking in today. Any exercise in today. <laughs> but it's pretty cool here. Don't see any elk though. Saw a bunch of elk poop, but didn't see any elk. So the phone says there is a geocache here. Apparently Somewhere along that the way. wood line. So it looks like you'd probably take this footpath down around that way I guess is what it kind of looking like but you don't have to go if you don't want because that means you have to climb back up the hill to go down well whatever okay we found it it was a real pain in the ass but we found it we didn't bring a pen but we can still mark it as found yeah Oh, there's, oh, there's a pencil, pencil there. there. Good. Hold that. And there's all this stuff in here. Who wants this? <laughs> Mathematics. <laughs> Who wants that? Maybe a little kid might need it. <laughs> Never a Chinese know. finger trap? Yep. A golf ball. Elk Festival from 2000. A hair clip. 
a top, a keychain, a key. There's a penny in there. There's a bug. A centipede. And then some business cards, which I've seen these in other geocaches around here. And an orange peeler, I think. And a pen. Yeah, that's what it looks like. And that penny. So that's all of that. So we'll sign the log and we'll put it back. Now we're at Lost Lake. Uh, trout type D trout regulation. But anyway, there it is. Really far down there. I'm not gonna go sliding down the hill to try to get there. <laughs> But it looks pretty. It's definitely blue. And you can see rope hanging down there that you'd swing off with the going to the water. It's too cold for that. <laughs> yep, there's a rope. I've been fishing, or not fishing, but swimming in here. Well, apparently there's trout because it says so. Well, I've never, I've never personally seen any, but. Well, it says so. <laughs> I know. I'm just saying. I never personally seen any. Is all I'm saying. But it's definitely really pretty. Didn't know this was here. I think we drove past it a lot when I was a kid. Didn't know it was in here, at least I didn't. I knew it was here. Yeah. I've been swimming in it. Oh, did you go on that rope right there? <laughs> that, that used to never be there. Oh. I don't even know how in the world you'd get down there. Uh. If you look over on the other side of this washed out spot here, see this washed out spot? Yeah. That used to be the original trail, but it got all washed out from the rain. So but you now, walk... Now the new trail is just right, at, right on the other side of it. So you have to walk along here. I would fall on my butt. There's yeah. no way I'd get down there. I'd fall on my butt. Well, I'd be better off trying to... Trying to take a sled down there. <laughs> down there is the easy part. Getting back out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this used to be the original trail right here, but they said it all walked out. No, they said it's a new trail right here. Ugh. Yeah, I'm not going to try to crawl crawl down there. Yeah, it's not easy getting back out once you're down there. Are you going to crawl down there? Sure, why not? Oh, jeez. Picking up some garbage. Oh, I was going to say, if you're going to crawl down there, take the camera with you. <laughs> I'm not going after that bottle. Once I get if I get that, I might not get back get my fat butt out of there. But yeah, wow, that's really pretty. Kind of yeah, reminds me. Brought you here. Kind of reminds me of a big ver version of Kitch Itty Kippy Springs. But I don't see any fish. But yeah, wow. Definitely looks nice. Even on a hundred degree day, that water is still freezing cold. Is it? Yeah. So I checked and there's a geocache here too. So we'll go ahead and do this one. Okay, this one has a little little pencil. That's weird. Oh, a moisture thing. Do not eat. There's two of those. Beads. An eraser. Elephant. And a bracelet for a very little kid. Bunch of marbles, a quarter, marbles. I guess that's all. So we'll sign this one and put it back.
this is a free campsite. Don brought us up here. It's still cold out. Oh yeah. So those were elk in the last clip, but, and there was a whole bunch of them, a lot more than I caught. But unfortunately, the woman who was coming at us decided she would just drive right through them and scare them all off the road. So I didn't get that good of a shot of them. Nope. She kept on pushing them with the vehicle. Well, not pushing them, no, literally you know, running them over, but chasing them off with the vehicle. Yeah, she should have stopped and watched them, but whatever. This looks like a pretty nice place. Wouldn't mind camping here. Yeah, I've never Someday. camped out, out here at none of these sites out here, but I know that these campsites that are out here are free. What's this water? I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the name of this is. But it has everything you like for camping. Place for the tent, place for the fire, place to go fishing. Yeah, and I, know, and I know we passed one or two campsites coming from that way. Yeah. And I know there's this one here, and I'm not sure how many there is go further on in or anything, but... I guess I could find out what lake or pond or whatever this is by looking on the map on yeah. my phone. I'm sure. I just don't know what name it is. <laughs> Pretty nice looking though. We didn't bring fishing poles, but that's okay because it's too chilly for that. To stand here and try to fish. We figured to stop here just because we're driving by it heading home. Yep. <laughs> Not too far from home, no. Yeah, hopefully we'll be able to go camping soon yeah. after the weather warms up and they stop the lockdown stuff because right now camping is not allowed right. anywhere, anywhere in Michigan anyway. now and it was a really nice drive and hike and everything else I'm all sore now I didn't film everything of us walking there was a whole lot of walking up and down hills and everything at inspiration point so I got a whole lot of steps and a whole lot of floors on my Fitbit and we're just gonna make dinner now we're gonna have hamburgers and fries for dinner and we'll relax for the rest of the night because we definitely got our exercise in today and there was no problems with social distancing because there was nobody everywhere we went and the only other human beings we saw were that SUV and that woman who was running the elk off the road and they were in their cars and I we were in ours so no problems there did you have a good time? sure <laughs> what was your idea to take me out there? Yeah. Well, you finally went out there. Want to do it again? Well, not right now. I'm yeah, sorry. Right now. Let's go. We used to drive through there when I was growing up, but we didn't stop at, at all that stuff. Oh yeah. 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 There's another one of those uh, little, little ponds that. that it said it was about. a sinkhole. The yeah, sign said it was a sinkhole. Up. Yeah. Lost Lake sinkhole. Yeah. There's another one of those, but I don't recall exactly where that one's at, and you, their footwork and. Well, been on trying to get to that other one that I know of, but yeah. Like I said it's been so long that I don't recall where the second exactly what the second one was. Well, that's okay. <laughs> yeah, because I never really went to that second spot that I'm talking about. Yeah, we went to that one that me and you went to. Yeah. Hey, you ready to say goodbye, White Storm? How about you, Gizzard? And Tugs outside. Smokey and Kylo walked through a minute ago, but that's okay. Oh, here's Smokey. Good night, Smokey. Good night, Kylo, wherever you are. Last night, Kylo caught a mouse and then Smokey ate it, so Kylo needs to learn to eat his food right away. 
But anyway, we're going to go ahead and say good night, and we hope you enjoyed the video and that you like, subscribe, comment, share, and you're having a good night. Your turn to say good night. No, it's only good morning. Okay. Look at it. The sun's coming up. No, it is almost 8 o'clock p.m. P.m.? Yeah. For P. Menstrual. Oh, don't be like that. <laughs> you know what PMS stands for, don't you? What? Please more sex. Okay. You know what stop stands for, don't you? No. Flat titties on pavement. Okay, quit. And we'll see you next time. Thank mm -hmm. you.